Hello and welcome back to SF at Giants Recap. And the Giants, they lose to the Dodgers. All thanks to really ourselves. Really struggled in today's game. We had one error and probably six mental errors. We gave the Dodgers way too many gifts. And you can't give the Dodgers anything or else they're going to take advantage of it. And we saw that in today's loss. So that's what we're going to be going over in today's video. Make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying but the Giants, we did put up a fight. That's the good thing. It wasn't just we laid over and died. We did well, but this game we should have won. It's one of those where, like, we we were the better team until we just gave it to them. Like, we were playing better uh, talent-wise, but just giving them way too many uh, just gifts and everything. And Matos, he hit a three on Homer, but then he made, like, two blunders in the outfield that kind of erased whatever home run he got and so it's like great to see Matos come up and do well with the bat but then the outfield he's not a center fielder we have like three right field uh three right fielders on our roster and none can play center so it's really unfortunate that we have that happen and it costs us a lot Elliot Ramos continues to prove that he should be up here and should stay up here and he's done really well lately Great to see from Ramos. He's needed it. The Giants have needed it, and he's done well. So that's a positive right there. Um, we just need to see a lot more offense, though. So six hits today, that's not going to cut it. You get four runs, great, but six hits isn't going to put up anything special, and to only put up four runs in today's game is not going to not gonna get you a win against the Dodgers. Uh, Jordan Hicks, he pitched surprisingly well today. He only allowed two runs. Uh, he really worked himself out of any jam. And even though he gave up a home run, he then just kind of ignored it and went on and got four strikeouts in his outing, no walks. So a great performance from Jordan Hicks. Obviously, you want him to go five innings, no runs. But against the Dodgers and Mookie Betts, the way he is, it's lucky we got away with only two allowed. Luke Jackson, he hasn't been doing anything special. His slider, he doesn't know where it's going, and neither do any of us. So, not very uh, effective pitch. Eric Miller, he just left a location mistake and allowed the home run. He did get two strikeouts, though. Tyler Rogers, he had a pretty good inning. Camille Duvall came in. He pitched great. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, we're bringing Camille o again. No, let's put in Taylor Rogers to give up a two-run double in the 10th, and it wasn't all his fault because Matos couldn't make a play, but still, you're it. I don't get why Melvin didn't bring in Duvall again. He got uh, Taylor Rogers got a strikeout for Shohei, but then he gives up the double to Will Smith. It's like, why are we doing that trade off? Why would you not go with Duvall, who could really get anyone out, and he's cruising? It's not like he's had a stressful inning, he went like three up, three down. And then we put in Taylor Rogers, who has a history of struggling in late innings. So I don't get the philosophy there. Still, it's May, and Melvin hasn't figured out fully how to operate this bullpen, hoping that something clicks sooner than later. But we need to start seeing some improvement on the way this bullpen is operated. So that will do it for today's recap. Thanks so much for watching. I know it's kind of boring because the Giants, they they can't continue a winning streak. We win in two in a row, and then we turn around and give up a game. It's very frustrating. So I'll see you next time for a new SF Giant Recap video.